To color an object, select it and choose one of the materials from the render shelf. In Maya 2020, we recommend the standard surface material. Alternatively, you can right-click an object and go to Assign New Material, then choose it from there. In older versions, you can substitute an AI standard surface material instead. You can adjust the material attributes in the Attribute Editor via the Materials tab. For example, you can adjust the base color, add specularity to make it shiny, or increase transmission to make it see-through. You can also choose a preset to act as a starting point. Just like with the Sky Dome in the previous lesson, you can connect a pattern to many of these attributes by clicking the Palette button here. Just make sure that Texture Mode is turned on to see it. To remove a connected pattern, right-click the attribute and select Break Connection. Then you can try connecting a ramp instead. Or an image file. This is what's known as texture mapping, and unlike lighting, you don't have to use a .hdr or .exr file here. Formats like JPEG or PNG will do too. Finally, I can apply the same material to other objects by right-clicking and selecting Assign Existing Material or assign it its own material. If you found this useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Then click the link on your screen to move on to the next lesson.